Superman issue 20 sees the Daily Star staff call Clark Kent revealing himself as Superman as cheating. The Man of Steel meanwhile is beaten unconscious by Mongol who calls the United Planets a bunch of hypocrites for wanting to unite in all of their failures, calling it insanity. He drags Superman by the face through the dirt which wakes up the hero and catching Mongol off guard, Superman smashes Mongol away, battling the warlord and going head to head with the villain thanks to his heat vision. The United Planets armies soon converge on Mongol opening fire but Mongol activates his chest beam, obliterating the Dominators before Superman can save them. Back at the Daily Star, people want to know why Superman is cheating and one of the reporters says that their jobs as journalists should be a level playing field, since Superman shouldn't be doing the job they are doing. The managing editor says that he's jealous Perry White now has a first person exclusive with Superman, even more so since Clark Kent and Lois Lane used to work for him at one point. The reporters want to stick to to their quote unquote person on the street perspectives and celebrate the people touched by Superman's journey and life. Bethany however tells the others of the time that a plane almost smashed into Metropolis and would have killed her and how Superman saved the day. But since the big reveal that he is Clark Kent, she can't help but realize that the man who saved her that day is Clark Kent, meaning the plane story was his before anyone else and definitely before her, but he never even filed it as his. She and some other guy from a free newspaper got to it first. So despite his fellow journalists thinking that he is cheating, he really isn't. The managing editor says that they can go after Star Labs since they are trying to go after Superman and they might have a point to it since he tore through them and then wrote about it. Bethany tries to defend Superman's actions as a mysterious email comes in on one of the journalists computers with a video file of a recording of Superman and Superboy setting up the United Planets and proclaiming themselves as the speakers of Earth. The reporters can't believe what they are hearing and seeing that someone who isn't even human would speak on their behalf. They try and determine who sent it to them and if they can confirm it is real and as they try and determine why Superman would do this, someone says that they will go and talk with Clark. That someone is Lana Lang who says that Clark Kent and Superman used to be her best friend. Superman meanwhile continues his desperate battle with Mongol. The Tanamarian leader says that Superman brought this on them and he has made his enemies theirs and because of this their armies attack both Superman and Mongol who plans on using the attack to kill the Thanagarian general. He powers up and unleashes his chest beam again, blowing away the Thanagarian general as Superman smashes the beam and the Tanamarians rally the United Planets armies, bearing down on the hero and villain, calling for their fallen United to be avenged. Lois Mimo notices it's getting dark outside, so she gets ready to don her blonde wig disguise since Clark isn't on Earth. As she does, the Daily Star reporters barge into her room, demanding to know who died and made her husband the king of earth, and if this really is the reason why he revealed his identity to the world. Superman issue 20 was a pretty solid continuation of the fallout from Superman revealing his identity. I really enjoyed how we got to see how the other news organizations of Metropolis reacted to this news and how it absolutely would generate resentment and hatred for Clark and the Daily Planet. Lana Lang's return was lots of fun as well, and I can't wait for her and Clark to be reunited. Clark's part of the story in trying to deal with the chaos that is Mongol was great as well and how he may have inadvertently destroyed the United Planets before they even begun. If Brian Bendis continues exploring the fallout like this, this unoriginal base story of Clark revealing his identity could actually produce a few great nuggets of story and character development. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10.